but that's too bad. He has to die now. All right. He um he fell over his own sword. You know, I think this is a good idea. Only having like the people that need to shop shop before the actual session. Yep. Well, attack. You know, sure. You guys should also take the centipede mission if you guys want to. Well, if we take that mission, well, we have something to do with the session. Yeah, you guys just start it. Alright, alright. Well, let's, go well shop. let's shop and then bring Christian to fight the centipedes. Yeah. And okay. then start the session. No, so you guys, could, you guys could, like, walk around and find stuff. You do know that, right? In this forest here? Yeah, maybe. Right. Maybe not. Alright, right. I'm, I'm gonna, like, look around the river banks and just be like... I would send my cultist to do it. I perceive everything. Oh, okay, I don't perceive everything. <laughs> Oh, I need a, uh, I need a character one. sheet for my cultist. Hey, hey, James. Yeah? I see water. Shit, man. Yo, James, okay, can I get so... that character sheet for my cultist? Yeah, one second. I commit Sudoku. So, um, so you're gonna, um, actually continue on with your, your cultist? What? You're gonna continue on with your cultist? This one, yeah? So far? Okay. Then, um, give him base stats of a warrior, a level one. Okay. Alright. You're gonna have to make him yourself. Still need the character sheet, though. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna get sweaty. <laughs> also, also, one second. Also, um, John's also dead. That's fine. But John's here. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. He he just died. He oh, fell right. and tripped and killed himself. Oh god. Justin, I think we should just go shopping. Uh, I I can't see that. All right. What the fuck was that? <laughs> was that like someone dying? Here. <laughs> Neither can I. All right, let's all go. Oh yeah. Um. Also, the new uh Super Smash Bros. Who do you want in it? Um. I I want a um, uh, fucking uh SpongeBob. I want Fat Albert. Detective Pikachu. Fat Albert, yeah, Fat Albert. He's gonna be in it, man. Yeah. I want Detective Pikachu. Guys, everyone knows that Fat Albert is gonna be in uh, the new Smash. It's, anyway. it's obviously Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger, huh? Alright, alright, I'm just gonna use Fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Jay, what are you flying? Like, Do you have wings or anything that you can use to fly? Nope. That's for like riding a dragon or something. Uh, okay, I, I leap into the air. <laughs> and, you try, and you try to fly? You're right, I'll fall down. I rolled a 22. <laughs> so? You're, you're gonna float for a bit and then crash down on your face. James. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the joke. Okay, let's just go shopping. Well, I need I'm a... Trying, I'm, Screen up, shut the fuck up. You just right. right click add character. Oh, I'm sorry, am I in the fucking roll 20? I don't know, I don't think I am. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, you're bad. Justin, Ugh. your cultist died. Too bad, I have magic. Do you have any healing spells? Yeah. Wait, really? no. Wait. Oh, then. Guess what happens? Do what? You're, you're, uh, you're, I actually don't know if I have any healing spells. Your no, um, cultist gets a pay, um gets a uh, a a cut and he immediately dies from bleeding out. All right, I'll just make Lawrence my cultist. <laughs> nah, he misses too much. I'll find someone else. <laughs> Honestly, this that this cultist, the cultist that you took over, is the only one that actually hit. Yeah. If I remember correctly, um, he hit Mike and his friend. Well, the captain hit, or yeah, the captain hit someone. No. The captain. I wanted the captain, okay. but no, Mike's are like, hey, I'm gonna murder him in one shot. Mm, yep. Hold on one second. I'm gonna go make an, a separate uh, folder. Uh, right 
there. A character. And his name. You can actually make a name for him because I don't care about this bug. Alright, what are we doing? Um, I'm making him like making his cult as a character sheet. Oh. You want me to just He's human, sheet? right? Yeah, he's human. Nah, he's a tree. Wait, doesn't he have like 20 intelligence though? No. <laughs> If he had 20 intelligence, he'll be able to one shot everybody. Just by being smart? Yep. Wow. <laughs> he basically uses his knowledge to kill everybody. Yes, no. Oh god, the human name generator is trash. I want to, like, go to a different race. Alright, one second. I have, I'm having to have to put this guy up. Show to players. Uh, show to everyone? Okay. Bugman. Yeah. Bugman. Bugman. Bugman has came to fight. Okay, so, um, you guys wanna do anything else here? Nope. <coughs> oh, wait, we already tried to perceive stuff, but we're, we're, we're kinda bad. Did all of you try to perceive? No, yeah, I haven't. Justin, I have both. You want to? Yeah. I look around. Oh, where do you want to look around at? I was trying to look around the tree. Okay. Perception. Okay. So, okay, so what you find is a rock and a couple mushrooms. Purple tinted mushrooms, might I add. Are you gonna pick them up? Um. Um. Can I use my knowledge of nature to figure out what kind of mushrooms these are? Yep, you could. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Uh, the only thing you know is that there are five different type of mushrooms kind of looks that three of them are poisonous and two of them aren't. I just don't fuck with mushrooms. I'm just gonna leave those there. Okay, you gonna pick up a rock? Yeah, I'll pick that up. Okay, it's a rock. It's a slightly... Uh, it's a pretty edgy rock. Oh, so edgy. Edgy as mean, it's kind of sharp. Edgy as in Chris. Edgy as in, uh, edgy as Chris. How much does it weigh? How much does it weigh? It yeah. weighs about, uh, I would say, okay, what the hell? Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, my computer's just doing stuff I don't want it to do. Oh, okay, it weighs about around, uh, two. Are you happy with the rock, mister? Yes, I am happy with it. Okay. Is it a lock or a rock? It's just a rock. Okay. It's a slightly pointy rock. And that's about it. You, you sure you don't want to pick up the mushrooms? Yes. Okay. Anything else you guys want to do? Not that I know of so far. Did you guys finish looting all the bodies? Uh, okay. maybe. Guess so. I think so. I know the captain. I remember the captain being looted. This guy. The captain's been looted. The guy who got thrown over has been looted. Not yeah. sure about the other person. Nope, he has not been looted. Anyway, who wants to loot him? You're gonna loot the, the last guy? Oof. Okay, you find his light crossbow and, uh, three bolts. Crossbow. You just bolts. joined. Yep. Crossbow. Um. No one joined. How many?
much does a crossbow weigh? A light crossbow? There, yeah, well, how much? Um, it will weigh about, one second, loading up my things. Oh god, please don't do this to me. Um, I want to just say right now, it's probably going to weigh around, like, probably like 15 pounds. A light crossbow? Oh, like 10. Okay. Yeah. Um, what? Crossbow light is 4 pounds. Oh, four pounds, okay. I'm gonna have it around. Yeah, I'm saying you're like 10 pounds? Yeah, that thing's a heavy crossbow, light crossbow. Anyways, uh, I'm ready to go shopping. Okay. It's a, it's a heavy light crossbow. Okay, so let me grab this guy. Let me go delete this guy. Are you bringing your cultist with you to shop? Yeah. Bring him everywhere. Okay. Well, until you find a better one. Yeah. Okay. Can we only have one at a time? Yeah, I can only have one at a time. Copy. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say if you could have like thirty, it'd just kind of be like. Yeah. We're just constantly walking around with. Me. Constantly walking around and just eat of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> Can't stick around, gotta keep moving on. Cause what lies ahead, only one way to find out. Must oh, keep right. on moving ahead. Um, no time for is there a, a, is there maybe a ma 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 magic store? Uh, maybe, I just swear maybe to God. We could try to find it. Alright, the wrong perception. Doug, shut up. up. Yeah. Yep, roll it. 16. Hmm. When, you, when you're looking around. You also, might, plus uh, two because he's looking for something. Oh, that's right, 18. No, he's after items, looking for items. No, oh, you didn't specify that, but alright. I did specify that. I said it specifically when you're scavenging for items. Right, I'm pretty you sure get a plus I two. It. I mean, a 16 is a pretty good roll. Ah, uh, yeah, you need to get uh, a net 20. My good man. I'm just kidding. Um, you find you find a store, kind of looking like you know, magic key. All right, all right, all right. Oh, which one is it here? Uh, it's the one to you guys' left. This guy. This one. It's right, Shio. Right. Shio. You just gotta go. Yeah, I'd go like for it. to. Uh... Go up to him. Okay, so. So as you go forward and you see this man, you see a really kind of youngish kind of man, like around 13 years old. Name is Shiro. Shiro? Shiro. I hate you. middle-aged man, kind of a uh, dark gray type of hair, and uh, what do you want to say? Uh, I'd like to ask him what he sells. He said he looks at you and says he sells stuff. What type of stuff? Magic. And he, he looks and says, sure, for a right now price. All right, all right. Around a thousand gold. That, that, well, what kind of magic are we talking about here, buddy? <laughs> uh, well, any type of magic you're talking about is going to be around one. Um, magic item we're talking about is going to be around one thousand gold. What about enchanting? Do I look like an enchanter? He says, kind of up front, and kind of it looks insulted. I don't know, man. Do magic. You think all of us are just the same? Get out. And then he kind of just like looks around, looks away. Oh, whoa, care about you. hold on, hold on. Uh, world diplomacy be like, hey, man. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay. Well, you sound so sincere about that. He says it's fine. And he says, well, I could say I um do know a person like saying um he does a little bit of a chanting. Ooh. 
But where could I find this person? Uh, it would be into the next town over. Fuck. In this, um, in the town of, uh, Spree. Alright, then I asked him if there was, if there was any, like, magical, like, items, like, you know, just, like, simple stuff. Not, like, you know, vows and... Well, uh, simple stuff, he says. Well, I have been known to dabble in anything. He pulls out a piece of paper, and he says, this is the um, ever-ending piece of paper that will never, never rip. Hmm. I asked him for something like that, then <coughs> combat a little more. Combat, um, he looks around, he, uh, grabs this type of stony stone. It's, he calls it the flash stone. It will blind anybody around it if you use it in a 10 feet radius. So it will also blind you. Oh, well, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have anything else? <laughs> he grabs a uh, type of pot. Oh, it is that uh, ever ending uh, heating pot. You said, uh, as long as you want it, it could be at least medium temperature. Hmm. Now, what's he selling there for a thousand gold? <laughs> <laughs> um, he, um, brings out a type of, uh, sword, um, a sword. It's kind of, uh, my bluish aura around it. Mm. He says... This is, uh, the Sword of Wave. Sword of Wave, huh? Yep. What does it do? Well, my good man, it will, uh, immediately, um, it will deal an extra splash of water damage, um, into a five, uh, ten feet radius to people around the guy you hit. Hmm. And this is a thousand gold. Yep. Wait, does that include mm -hmm. himself? Uh, no. Okay. Now, uh... uh <laughs> I like the flash stone. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to bring up enchanting again, but did, do you have any books that, like, teach enchanting? Or... Yeah. He says, um, he might have a beginner's book for that, but you're gonna have to be, uh, pretty smart to learn that. Or oh. even pretty magical, too. Alright, alright. Uh, how, how much for this, uh, book? He says around uh, 50 gold. What the? I can you almost know, buy that. Everything's overpriced. <laughs> this is a okay. book about changing my man. Yeah, this is uh, kind of dead art around magic. Yeah, but like, come on. Like, it's a fucking beginner's guide. It's not like it's a fucking. And but because of your um, because of your great diplomacy check right there at 27, a uh, next uh, a dot 20 um. Uh, he will lower it down to 25 gold for you. That is a lot less. Yep. Yeah, yeah it is You got a net 20. Um, you got a net 20. So, appraise allows me to see how much something is worth, like... You should try to go for that. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, you feel like it's the exact price, maybe even higher. Alright, alright, um... Could I roll bluff to try to get a little lower? You're doing all this, but, um, okay. You're gonna have to have a high bluff now. Oh, Not high enough. All right, well, and bluff then. wouldn't make it go lower. That would also be <laughs> diplomacy. Yeah, kind of. Because diplomacy is making people think what you think. Mm. But bluff yeah. could also be like... Bluff is lying. That's how so you get away with lies. Well, it's you about can that's not that expensive. Well... Anyways, um, 25 fucking gold. Do you yeah. just not have 25? He does. I, I have 25 gold. He has it easily. He bought only the basic, basic of shit. How, how much do you think I have? Well, apparently how less than 50. How much do I think you have, Mike? Yeah. Well, uh, I will say... As much as, let me go, no, let me go. He's pulling the character sheet. Yeah, I know, I know what he is. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> okay. You have enough to buy that. Yeah, but like, 
25 gold for a buck? Jesus Christ, yeah. wait, um, if you like, like book. Book, if you like showing me the book? Uh, kind of. Hmm. It's in a case. It's in a case? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, what are rolled to see if the case is magically protected? Uh, Knowledge Arcana. Knowledge Arcana. Knowledge Arcana. Knowledge Arcana. It's the first knowledge. There Oh god. That looks like a pretty normal looking, uh, case. Come on, I add. <laughs> alright, alright, hold on. I, I asked her if there's any work I could do for him for that book. He looks at you and says, huh, oh, um, maybe there is. I might post something later on if you want that book. <laughs> alright, I, I, I think I'm just gonna start begging him at this point. <laughs> Have we taken a long rest or did you just go straight here? <laughs> You guys went just right here. That's what you guys said. Oh, uh, we should have taken a long rest so I could like force people to give me stuff. All right, all right, hold on. Hold you guys start begging him. <laughs> Going on your knees. Hold on, hold on. What is that? Uh, what kind of check is that? Yeah, what kind of a check is begging? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna walk up and ask him if he's good with uh, with like damage spells. Well, while he's doing that, I'm just gonna be like, oh, thanks for your time, like, kind of Wait, like... what? I'm gonna ask him if he's good with, like, damage spells. He says, uh... Like I him himself. I am a great, um, operationer. He's illusions. what? He does a, a lot of illusions. Stealth. Okay, so... Oh, illusion, that, gross. Wait, hey, uh, James, my stealth? Um, sure you are, buddy. Alright, alright. Realize everybody has to roll a uh, GM roll perception check, so. Yeah, that's what I did. And you're not gonna know I if you're stealth, because that's not how it works. Are you gonna try to steal the book? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, like, you know, just, like, kind of, like, try and pickpocket his ass. Okay, go ahead. That is. Not a no, um, slide of hand. Slide of hand, yeah. yeah I know. I failed! I wanted epic fail four times! <laughs> <laughs> no, really! Try to grab his death. He looks at you. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I lied about it. <laughs> oh, really? You get knocked on your ass. Take, uh, take, um, 1d6 damage. <laughs> That's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not lethal damage, so yeah. you just get knocked unconscious. Why does he deal so much damage? Because he hits you with a staff a like a monk? <laughs> oh god. He looks, at, he looks at your body, and then he starts going through your pockets. <laughs> What? No, no, no. I mean, you try to pickpocket him, so he knocks you out and tries to pickpocket you. Well, well, he doesn't really find anything. He just finds a couple, um, couple of silver pieces from you. Oh, alright then. And then he kind of kicks your body to the curb. I'm sure they call it guards, but alright. So you guys are going to do anything with him? Nah, <laughs> with my like body? Just leave him there, he's fine. Okay, um, anything else you want to put, Justin? Uh, no, I just wanted to, like, see if he was good at damage spells. No, not that much. Is Wait, are you going to pickpocket Mike? Is there anything I can roll to get uncon? No, I'm not. Like, uh, you, could, um, you guys could wake him up. Yeah, we could. We could wake him up. But Mike always takes the longest, so let's do it last. Okay, are you guys gonna pick it? Are you guys gonna pick his body up and carry him with you? No, definitely not. Nah, oh, he can I just sit there for a while. Yeah. I'm gonna go look for the tailor. I need some black robes. I'm just gonna look at him. Oh, you're gonna look for the tailor? Yeah, yeah I'm looking for the tailor. That's what I thought. Yeah. You see, um, you know, you're gonna talk to him? Yeah. 
Okay, you see a big kind of portly type of man, like, uh, going around, grabbing cheeks and, um, and shit. What do you want to say? Uh, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm asking if he has any, uh, black cloaks. And he looks at you and says, oh, of course I do. What type of black cloak do you want? Cloak kind. What do you mean? He looks at you and shakes his head, nodding. He brings out a couple of sample of cloaks, and uh, one of them's kind of a uh, nice, uh, kind of sleek, smooth type of cloak. Kind of have a couple gold uh, pins here and there, two buttons. Another one's kind of like uh, kind of a rough type of leather material type of cloak. Um, but it's not as like you know, um, covering. It kind of it goes just to your waist, while the other one goes kind of to your elbows. <laughs> then the last cloak would be kind of like kind of poofy. It has like has a lot of like a lot of design to it. Um, how much are each of these? And he looks. At, he looks. Um, he thinks about it, and then he like gives you like five gold. Five gold each? Um, want to buy them each? He says. Right. And then if you want to buy them all, then I'll just bump it down just to ten gold. I'll buy them all. Okay. Buys a bunch of cloaks. He, um, he puts them, stacks them up, and he raises out his hand. Five gold. So, you want to give him the gold? Uh, yeah, I already took it out of my inventory. I hand him the 10 okay. gold. Alright. Anything else you guys want to do? Um, can I look around um, for somewhere to sell my rock? Please wake me up. Wait. <laughs> you you want to sell what? I want to sell the rock I have. The rock? The rock. Yeah. The rock. Oh, the rock. Okay, you can try to look for something that, you know... Anyone that will buy it, please. <laughs> um, you better go around asking people, then. Uh, you see quite a few people here and there, but who knows who will buy your rock. Oh, God. <laughs> you better be asking around. I'm gonna ask old man who will buy it. <laughs> okay. You have an extremely uh, high wisdom. So, you come up to him? And, uh, he asks you what you want. Um, I'll tell him, I'll ask him, um, would you be interested in adding this slightly pointy rock to your collection? He looks at you, and then he grabs the rock, he kind of toss, uh, kinda, he looks at it, cuts himself on the rock, he curses, throws it back at you, and says, get out. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, you want to try buying more arrows? Yeah, I could. I mean, so I'm guessing the blacksmith sells it. And that's pretty obvious that he is. I also want to go to the blacksmith. Okay. Yeah. You see this? This, uh, um, this type of, not as muscular as you would think it is, type of orange hairish type of guy. Um, I'll ask him if he sells any arrows. Uh, what type? Um, you see the arrow thing? kind. Just, just regular arrows. Okay, um, he, he says, um, yes, how many? Um, 20. Four? He just points out. You just want four? No, I want twenty. Twenty. Oh, but she okay. has four. I also heard twenty. I, I, I'm sorry. I just heard it. I heard it weird. I just I thought he said four for a second. And I was like, wait, what? And I was <laughs> like, what the fuck? Four. I don't know how you got twenty. Wait, yeah, one second. Let me go uh, look at the prices for arrows. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see what the price is. 
one gold. Do you, do, you, do you think the price is right, man? Which bo which which box do you grab? Box A, box B, box C. Box C. Oh, immediately you die. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, the statue came to life. Oh god. Oh dear. Burp, burp, burp. Burp. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, so it would be um about um just bolt bolt the fuck why is that oh, I mean Can I like roll will to get up? Um uh I um two um two gold piece. GP. Two gold. Okay, yeah. Uh, hand him two gold and all. Uh, uh, and then he grabs like a bundle from like by him and puts it, um, puts it to you. Thank you for your business, sir. I'll be on my way. Um, he nods. Can I roll Will or? Uh, I'll wake him up. Yeah, go wake him up. I'll okay. Just... And then I with an arrow. I talked to the uh okay. the blacksmith. Alright. Alright, let's try again. Oh uh, well <laughs> it's my turn, so you can wait. So I'm gonna talk to the blacksmith and try to sell the dagger I picked up. Um he'll say he um he um do you pass to him? Yeah, I'd show it to him. He, um, he kind of looks over it, and I say he kind of beams it to his kind of his anvil for a bit. He says, this will only grant you about, um, he looks about only one GP. That's fine. And he nods. He, um, just tossed one to you. Yeah, and then I'd also like to buy a great sword. A great sword? Yeah. Um, he looks, um, he grabs this type of sword from things and he says that's about um, um about oh, about around uh 50 gp 50 yep or a great sword why is everything so expensive because it's pathfinder um, pathfinder man okay so i'm actually gonna help you guys with the quest a bit more <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> I didn't know everything's gonna be this fucking expensive. Dude, so. it's just like yeah. Starfinder. I got. I'm gonna give you guys more like some like some more money type in quest, okay? All right. Well, I'm gonna go to the equipment page, and look at some things that I can afford to go to Mike, so you can steal some things. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. If you keep talking to him, I could try and pickpocket his ass. Well, sure. Then I'm talking to him while I actually look at the prices of things. I'm looking All at right, the well, menu. Okay. Okay, stuff. Okay. Well, let's see. What do you want to do? Alright, alright. I'm gonna try and, like, uh. I don't want to get a critical fail again. <laughs> I really don't. God. Um. I, I, I'd like to roll perception to see if I could find his, like, where, where, he's, where the blacksmith stores his money. Okay. Oh, 19. It's not bad. You see him kind of store her kind of in this kind of locked case locked. by his side. Um, in order to unlock the case, I would have to use like slide of hand. Kind of, and also you need a lock pick. Fuck, I don't have lock picks. Like right about here. He also right, got yeah. pick I, I think I'm just gonna try and pick pocket. Yes, thank you, Jesus, thank okay, you. Okay, um, it's uh, more than fine, the band. Um, you like. Slide your hand down his back, like, <laughs> while him <laughs> doing it. Alright, uh, you go in his back pocket, basically groping the man, <laughs> but he doesn't notice at all. And you bring out, and he, you see, um, there's five GP you have. Oh yeah. Alright, alright, then, um... Alright, five, so... Alright, alright, then, like, um... Wait, where, where's the money store? There, there, there it is. Alright, then, um... 130? Alright, 
and then I just kind of like, you know, just kind of like, you know, you just like make my way this way, you know, just, just get in the way. <laughs> okay. That's about it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't have lock. Actually, wait. Where would I... Wait, wait. Would the blacksmith sell lock picks? Um, you can make... I mean, he might be able to make some for you. Alright, I know what I want to buy now. But wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Isn't that suspicious as hell? Yeah, it is. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he would be... He would look at you. He would reply if you give him the money, but he'll be really suspicious of why you're buying lock picks. <laughs> Yo, I got locked out of my house. Do you have any lock picks? <laughs> you said you tried to use diplomacy to get him to not be suspicious. Yeah. Or bluff. No, you have to use bluff. Yeah, it'll be bluff. All right, but I want to buy hide armor, which is fifteen um, GP. Armor? Hide. It's fifteen hide GP. Armor. Um, he goes around searching a bit in his back, and he pulls out the hide armor kind of case set. He passes for it and like raises his hand for the money. All right, and I also want to buy a scythe because that's cool. A scythe. Okay. The so how scythe much? Scythe is eighteen. Eighteen, and he like, he like says, "Are you?" <laughs> he says nothing. Just kind of raises his eyebrow a little bit, but then he grabs behind, um, goes around and kind of grabs a scythe. He puts it down and he raises his hand for the money. Yep, it's 32 GP, so yep. I hand it to him. Alright, he takes it, bites into it, puts it in his face. Oh, and um, uh, Justin, are you, are you, you're, you're gonna leave the blacksmith now, right? Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> alright, alright, uh, as you walk out there, you, you know, you know, I, uh, thank you for your help, and I, uh, toss you a GP. Oh, nice. And like, um, I ask him if he would like to, you know, perform other stunts like this. I'd be down. All um, right, okay. Okay. All right. I just want to give the uh, the scythe and the hide armor to my cultist. Okay. Do that then. Right. And then I would like to roll perception to see if there's an alchemist. Ooh. Um, you might find one around, and around the case buildings uh, over here. I forgot to put an NPC for that, sorry. Alright, so you just uh, go over there. Well, I noticed you had an NPC over here, so I'm like, I'm just gonna be like, hey, hey, all right, all right, what do you sell? Um, here's a tailor. Oh, oh, that's right, well then. Oh, one second, let oh. me just go grab someone. Wait, a tailor would do hats, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I show him my, uh, bandit's hat. Captain's hat, basically. I'm like, hey, man, how, how much money is this worth? Uh, he looks at it, he picks it up, and, um, he says about, uh, just 2 GP. 2 GP? Um, would I roll diplomacy or bluff to, like, you know, like, you know, like, get it a little higher? You know. Um, diplomacy. Alright, guys, don't fail me now. Oh yeah. Um, he says, uh, well, we might be able to reduce it, um, increase it by maybe one gold. <laughs> reduce it by one gold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll take the three GP. And then he kind of passes it to you and he grabs the hat. Alright. And immediately you see him put a sign that says five GP on that. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I put the alchemist up there. Alright, I go back to the alchemist. Okay, and you go in, you see an elf. Like, you see a kind of elf there, and uh, you see, like, pots, potion. Do you do poise? Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shit, um, dude. Um, Alright, I, uh... Actually, you know what, uh, Justin, would you like to go first? Sure. <clears throat> I just start talking to him because I don't really have any money to buy stuff. So I'm just distracting him for Mike. Okay. 31! <laughs> Make a bluff check. Oh.
Oof. Okay, stealth. Okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you have 20 in charisma. Okay, so you're clearly um, making a pretty entertaining conversation with her. Um, and I think it's... Stealth? Who knows? Pretty sure you are, but you know. I um, doubt that they can get higher than a 31. Yeah. You, you doubt me. Um, Any advantages with uh, Justin talking to her? Um, kind of, but the thing will go lower, like the average of what you need. To the get. DC is lower. Okay. I pickpocket her. You pickpocket her. Okay, then you pickpocket her. You pick out and you see a couple rats like type of stuff and uh, GP. How much GP? One GP. God, everything's expensive, but people only have one GP. Yeah. yeah, because that's what they're just carrying with them right now. They are they're in a store. All right, all right. This isn't working. I'm gonna have to go buy lock picks. Uh, well, is the register locked? Uh, I'm gonna check. Yeah, roll perception. Uh, look for the register. Perception. Oh shit! I guess I'm blind. Um, you look around, but you can't really find anything like that looks, you know, a hole with money. Justin, I uh, trying to talk to him. yeah. I cough oh, and sort of yeah. nod my head in the uh the direction of the cash register. Make another bluff check. Okay. He kind of points kind of to you, that the direction. There. You want to try to see if it you can um you could try to see if it's open. Uh, is that perception to see if it's open? Yeah. Uh, God looks damn it, Mike. That bad. I'm sorry, I only have a point. Uh, it, um, you, you only kind of see it kind of tied by, like, it's kind of not like that. So it looks like it's not, um, it looks like it's not locked. Yeah, it looks, like, it's just kind of like a box. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, oh, God. Um, like, you kind of, it rattles a bit, like, um, kind of, like, you guys kind of hear it a bit. No. So, uh, um, honestly, all you have to do, Justin, is make a one last bluff check and. Come on. Oh. Oh, well, no. congratulations, Justin. It's like you guys did a high enough on almost all your other rolls that you guys could get away with this. Oh, so you open the box, uh, but inside the box, it's just actually just more type of. Uh, Good morning. Not actually the cashier. But actually, a place where it stores more of her, you know, more expensive type of ingredients. Grab them Ooh. all. Yeah, I grab them all. And we'll just sell okay. it back to her. You don't even think that looks hella um, suspicious? Oh, yeah, because she put them back in there. Don't take them all. Take most of them. All right, oh, just okay. take them all. We'll sell them in the next town. Wait, um, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, can I roll? Okay, wait. Well, what's inside of it? Um, lots of types of things. Um, do you know a lot of things about nature? Uh, not like nature. A, a, a little, I guess. Um, um, you know about only some of them. You see some of them that are could, could be contained in a bit of like health potions you see here and there. Just, Mike, um, just take them all anyway. Wait. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna take them all. I just take it all. Okay, just put in your things a bundle of like different type of ingredients. Expensive bundle. herbs. Um, of herbs. Yeah. Herbs like, greeting. Bundle, bundle of herbs. Expensive herbs, yeah. Expensive herbs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I just kind of like, you know, I'm just kind of like, I, I was never here with my still check of 31, and I'm just kind of like, bye. Yeah, and then I just say, you know, things are too expensive, right. I gotta go. I only have four gold. <laughs> and she looks at you and says, okay. And then I guess I'll toss in a silver piece and we will sell that other stuff later. Okay. Alright. Anything else you guys want to do? Um, John? What, what's this guy do here? I walk up to this guy and ask him what he sells. He's, um, Probably he's general a, goods. Um, it, it's more yeah. of a general goods store. Oh, so he, he would buy the bundle. He would buy expensive herbs. Sure. Uh, maybe. Maybe? Alright, I, um. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to roll a praise on my herbs and see like how much they're worth. Okay. Shit. 
Um, all you know for your herbs, they can only go about like maybe five DPS to you. Oh God! Oh please. And apparently, and apparently to Justin, they're about worth three GP to him. God. Oh, I ask. Uh, you guys uh, should probably just keep it for now. Hold on, wait, wait. Uh, the, the, the other guy's got to roll uh, a praise. Yeah, the, we get the general goods person to appraise them. Okay. Um, one second. I show him the herbs and ask him uh, how much. Um, he um he looks at him and he says, "Oh, they should just be around uh five GP." Oh, he, yeah. he, he smiles. Yeah, I know he's smiling. Fucking. Yeah, don't trust them. Uh, I'm gonna roll diplomacy to see if I can get him to tell. Wait, um, well, what what would I roll to see if he's like lying? Like. Uh, diplomacy makes him think more like no, you. You roll him to see if he's lying. Stay yeah, but like All right. obviously, I roll. That's no. Stay here. Um. Uh, yeah, switch. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I'll be back in uh, like two minutes. All right, John. Okay. Do you want to do anything? No, I'm good. I'm also basically good. Okay. Oh yeah, and also the centipede mission is kindled. No. So they've been wreaking so much havoc that they bumped it up to ten gold each. Just, just say that basically. Yeah. Um, because, and also the bandits you guys, or the thugs you killed, uh, um, their bodies are, um, um, 5 GP apiece. Alright. So you're just changing because SP to GP? Yeah, basically. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. Alright. Alright. Uh, should we go back to the boss man first? Um, yeah. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Um, wait, um, wait, did we figure out what to, what to roll if he's lying, or? Well, like, if you're checking if he's lying, wouldn't that kind of be perception? Well, well, yeah, he might have, like, a tell. Yeah, like, perception to see if he's lying. That's what I think. It would be, um, let me see. It's obviously a handle animal. Sense motive. Sense motive? Yeah. Alright. Uh, where is that? I oh, yeah. That. Shit. <laughs> God. Oh, dear. God. Oh, you guys know he seems like a pretty friendly guy, you know? <laughs> Dude, uh, right. my swim check is a minus nine. Really? Oh, God. Oh, right. yeah. Dude, I rolled a God. ten. Wait, I want to go. Right. I'm trying to get super uh, negative. Let, there we go. Um, James. Yeah. I'll just say I'll take his uh price into consideration. I'll just like you know let's just head back to the guy. I guess. Okay. He nods. And you guys gonna head back to the base? Guess mm. so. Also, I need control over uh Joth Torres. Why? What do you mean why? He's. Mm, why is why is sushi so good? Oh yeah, I'll do that. One second. You're eating sushi? You're yeah, eating I sushi. A, I, got a, I got a rainbow roll from Volcano. Oh, that sounds oh, good. It, it is. Oh my well, I God. had ribs today. Oh, those are I haven't good. eaten since I got up. Like <laughs> an hell? hour ago. On Saturdays, the only thing I eat is sushi, basically. Okay, um, you guys head back to base. <laughs> Wait, is John still here or no? He went to take a shower. Okay, so we should probably do this when everybody gets back. Okay, or when another person comes back, so you guys have three. Yeah. At least. Okay, um, do you guys kind of want to just stop here for a bit? Oh, sure. wait, um, wait, um. Oh, oh, wait, wait, um. James. Yeah? Um, Mike. Can I talk to him about that uh, special thing he was talking about when I rolled diplomacy? Like, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, yeah. He yeah. gives you um he gives you guys um your uh you guys brought back three heads. All four. No, actually you guys only brought back two. No, we brought back all four. You guys are never um cut the head off of the last guy. 
Well, we didn't say we cut the head off, because I just assumed that, that was a given. Hell. Well, I just assumed that, that was, like, a given. I thought we already basically did okay, it. Okay, well, next thing, next time you have to say it. Alright, yeah, next time it. we'll say it. So, we brought back and this head. So, you guys have 15 gold. And he looked no, we brought back all of them. Right? We actually brought back he all said, heads. He pointed at the guy that's still alive and said, that doesn't count. Wait a second. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Uh, James. Are you sure? Yeah, I got he looked at you, and he Because technically, yeah, his head wait, wait. is brought back. Wait, James. And then he says... And he says, yeah, sure, it, it will count. Then he just brings out, like, only two more gold pieces. But because he's alive. Um, well, well, I really think it should be the full amount. And he looks at you and he says, and then he looks at you, like, half glazed eyes and says, nope. Wait, um, can I roll diplomacy? For what? To, to get the full price that he would promise us for the... That's, That's why I just tried. Yeah, but like if he, if there's two people, then you know, it, it might change his oh. mind, right? Oh, I hope you get a negative. <laughs> uh, he looks at you and he says, "Hmm, you know what? I'll give you that special award now." Uh, he uh he gives you um a pat on the back. A what? Pat on the back. Can we murder him? You want to tie him? No, it looks pretty demonish. Uh, he will straight up no. Um, he will straight up wreck you guys in one hit. Yeah, just now. I'm really hating this guy. Yeah. <laughs> like I was excited. Like I was gonna get like something just like a little. And then um, Yo, Mike. Uh, um, let's start saving up to buy our own house, and Mike. form our own agency. Mike, check your back pocket. Check my back pocket. Yeah. Why? His back pocket. Because when he patted you on the back, he puts something in your back pocket. Because he's a god level rogue. That's not fair. Come on. <laughs> Where were you even doing work for his fucking ass? Um, just check your back pocket. Alright, check my back pocket. Uh, it will, it's, it, it's a, um, it's a type of letter to the, um, to the mage asking for a free, um, um, that, that book. It's a letter of recommendation. So, oh! You know. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Alright. I, I, I give him, like, the best nod of approval in my life. He looks back and he winks and says, and then he also just kind of, he rolls his eyes and just kind of tosses you the three extra gold pieces. Cool. Nice. Wait, so how much? And next time so we got 20 gold. Wait. Wait, wait, 20 gold per person or? Per person. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm adding 20 then. Yep. Oh, right. 25 gold and one silver. Yeah, when I sell those herbs, I'll give you some of that cut. Yeah. Dude, Mike and I are stealing buddies. Yeah, man. Are you gonna try to get him into your cult? Nah, I don't like him. Um, wait, um, can I go back to the market and, like... Um, you're about almost dead. You're, no, actually, you are, um, basically dead. You're at 1 HP. <laughs> yeah, we should probably take a long rest. Yeah, I should probably rest for a bit. Also, I'd still, like, control no, of my, no, uh... let's just do a short rest. Let's just do, wait, my ring's up here. Let's just do a short rest. Well, I'd okay. like a long rest so I could have my, uh... Alright, alright, alright. Well... Like that, then we will stop for here right now. Oh, come on. Just wait. We'll just wait until they come back now. I mean, yeah. like one or two more people come back. Oh, until he comes back. All right, all right. Wait, can I have um, control over my guy? Him back in the call? Asking that. Guys? I'm doing it. Because if you get at least one person, do you think you guys think you'll be confident enough to do something else? Oh, oh wait, Jeremy's on. Jeremy hasn't even finished his character. Exactly. Let's do that. Oh yeah, you guys could get him to finish his character.
Jeremy. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I can't believe they only gave you nine fucking pieces of sushi. Oh. And it's so expensive, like. You summoned me again? Uh, yeah. Well, I must try to summon Jeremy so he can what? make his character. Chris. Chris, do you want to do the other bounty? Not yet. Not without everyone. No, no. Two of you here. Oh, so you got 20 gold for. Because you turned in the quest. Oh. He changed it for silver to gold, because we went shopping and everything was super expensive. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then the centipede quest is ten gold per person. Per centipede. Yeah, or per centipede. Also, Help me get Jeremy in Mike here. Mike got knocked unconscious. Yeah. Mike got beat up for trying to steal. Then went on to get, uh, went on and stole some more. Also, Seriously. I'm also, yeah, I'm also Mike's accomplice. Why? Because I want money. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm paying you. Yeah. You're paying him to help. Yeah, I distract the person while he goes and steals. Dude, why is that the most common freaking theft thing ever? Like, that's what we do in Divinity. That's what you guys do in D&D. And that's literally what I just did in Bioshock. Because it, like, makes sense. It works. Yeah, we're also taking a long rest. Alright. So. And also my, uh, my cultist has a, uh, a scythe. Oh, nice. Two-handed? Uh, I don't think so. Yep. Wait, no, I don't think so, actually. I don't know, um, that's a sickle. Oh. That's the, like, he's the two-handed. It's a oh. scythe. Two-handed. Yeah, sides are two-handed. Yeah. I actually was wondering, like, why you said that for a second, and I was like, what? And then I remember you were, uh, I think you were talking about the sickle, and I'm like, oh. Guys. Yeah? I think we need to talk about Jeremy. Yeah, what about Jeremy? Well, is he actually part of the D&D? &D? Actually, that's a really good question, honestly. Yeah, Scythe is two-handed, but, like, who cares? Alright, well, Chris. Oh, wait, it's a two-handed, this is 1d6. Can I go back and, like, change this? Because Scythe is actually trash. Well, that sucks for you. It's 1d6, but you can also trip people. That's not um, a Scythe? Yeah, but it cost almost 20 GP. I wasn't really paying attention when I bought it. Oh, wait, but you don't use melee. No, hey, um, my, uh, my cultist. Justin. What? My weapon costs 35 gold and it is 1d6. Yeah, I could've, like, I could've spent less money to get a better weapon. It's because it's crit is times four. That's actually really good. Wait, yeah, that is good. Wait, what's his crit range, though? Uh, it doesn't have a crit range, so it's sure. just 20. Oh, that's what I really like about my weapon. It's got a crit range from 18 to 20. Hmm. I'm James. Hi, James. Oh, yeah. Is Jeremy going to be part of this? Wait. I mean, if, if he doesn't want to make his character, then that's it. Like. Yeah, I'd rather buy a flail. I mean, like, I don't want... I Dude, don't a want flail is actually better in almost every way. Because basically every single session...
like, oh, someone's not here. Every single time we play, it's like, oh, someone's not here. Because Jeremy's not playing. Yeah, well, Jeremy doesn't hold us back. We, like, start to play without him if he's not here. But just, like, having him here occasionally would still be decent. Give me a I need a hero. Do do holding on to a hero till the end of the night. Cause he's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero! Also, they just might make a. Your mic's dying. Yeah, you're all fuzzy whenever you talk, but we can still like sort of hear you. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh no. Oh yeah. Hello. 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 Oh no. Oh yeah. Hello. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is my mic still fuzzy? No. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Where's the elevator? Where isn't the elevator? Found the elevator. Press button. A few days ago, we all came up with a bunch um, of first button, I'm gonna fake rush facts and everyone died. But yep. yesterday, I asked you, who did we bamboozle? Did we fool anyone? And the answer is yes. You remember that fake giraffe fact about how their necks are getting shorter if they're not? One of you beautiful people sent that All to right, your I'm friend, back. and uh, your friend responded, what? That's really Chris, cool welcome back. and sad. <laughs> how can I've something be so cool and yet so sad? Yeah, oh, remember that fact back, about how like... Oreos are banned in Nepal? One of those responses elicited a... Those poor Nepal kids don't know what an Oreo is. That's so sad, and yet so cool. <laughs> or what about that Shrek fact? You know, the Shrek is based off Russian folklore from 1200. One of your friends responded, Oh my gosh, this is great. It explains his accent. Yes, all right, we well, all I'll love Shrek for his very minutes. thick Russian accent. <laughs> You're gonna find out, we bamboozled a large number I mean, of people. Hopefully we have Ooh, you remember that fake fact about how gyms are now offering dabbing <laughs> classes that can burn 500 calories an hour? Well, one of you sent that out, and then your friend responded, I burn 500 calories in a regular gym session. No need to wear out the dab. So defensive and condescending. I love it. But that's not nearly as extreme as uh, this one. That's morally wrong, saddeningly believable, and my favorite, White middle class Americans will spend money on anything they think will give them excuses to eat more. Wow, what a leap. Why you gotta make it a white thing? <laughs> Consider his jimmies a Russell. Now we have a lot more bamboozles to show you, but before I do, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, War Robots. War Robots is a tactical 6v6 multiplayer mobile out of tough situation. Pinata flow don't know how to ride a bicycle. Facebook comments include, ew, and how can someone not ride a bike? Like literally just jump on it and pedal. Just those damn Gen Zers and white middle class Americans. Oh, I love this one. You remember the fake fact about, you know, kissing before marriage is illegal in six US states? When you sent that to your friend, your friend responded, oh yeah, my cousin got arrested for that. Boy, do I want to hear the rest of that story. And then we got a couple of uh, edge lords and mad lads here. You remember the fake fact about the uh, Florida law that forbids clapping at the end of a movie? It's not real. One of your friends responded, gonna do it anyway like zoinks watch out for that mad lad let's go back to that shrek fact because i really like this response well would you look at that we have the russians to thank for one of the greatest film series of all time that's just a very wholesome response what are you it's completely this wrong but it's wholesome and going back to that movie theater law like uh some disgruntled linda said tell lawmakers to get a reality check they have Book bigger fish to fry. I mean, I don't blame you, Linda. It did have a brain shock watermark, though. Some people were so bamboozled that they were rendered speechless. For example, back to that Shrek fact, someone responded, I don't know what to say. Don't worry about it. Okay. 
actually bamboozled. Oh, do you remember that completely fake fact about how watching more YouTube videos a week makes you smarter? One of the responses to that fact was, Oh my god, I think I read that somewhere before. What's that word called when you implant a false idea into someone else's mind? Deception. Ben from Twitter claims that his school showed off well, a fake fact, and ammo to not act just a fake fact, you game. completely reformatted the fact so that it fits on a widescreen mm. TV for your school television, and it actually looks a lot more legit. Now, whether or not people got bamboozled is, 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 is beyond me. Uh, Giraffe's necks are getting going. shorter. How okay. do you guys feel about this? Very depressed. Sad. Is this a truth, or are short neckers a thing? I hate this, because... This person is essentially asking the same thing twice. Is this a truth or this is, is mean, this then. a truth? Yep. This made me furious, so I oh, had to keep it. I love the response I this guy, is. you fucking kids, um, hey, because you know, it's from some, the person's uh, mom. Wow, what the like? actual sure. higher end gyms dabbing? You jack me, I jack you. I jack you. Zumba. Is it really that crazy? I love when they justify no. it. Statistically, Why most you watch people me? lie on Wednesdays. Oh. I don't get it. Bamboozled. That counts. Oh, remember that fake fact about how malls are more dangerous than the ocean or whatever? Uh, stupid millennials. And finally, perhaps my favorite response from these fake facts. Remember that fake fact about how Porg was the number one baby name of 2017? Well, one of you posted that to a friend, and you also added a little, but why though? You know, to kind of like goad your friend. Your friend responded, why not? really makes you think. Oh, I have a question for you. Which is better and why? YouTube or Twitch? Leave your... We're Red and Link and we wanted to show you how we created our amazing new website <laughs> with Wix. Now we know that having a great website... Hey, I'm Gruff. I'm not so Gruff. And we're the Game Grumps. Right, Sorry, everyone. Party. We had to do a version of this just so we could see what happens yeah. in this game. Boom. Talk. Hey, it's my main man, uh, bro. Looks like you left your brother. How's it going, man? No worries, bro. I'll go get it from her, and then you can hold on to it for me until I'm sober. It'll definitely be before Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what day it is, so funny, I don't get the joke. Funny dude. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get him. He's like doing like the walk this way, <laughs> like thing in <laughs> Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming I'm following him. Yes. Until he gets the phone for Brittany, and then he was just in front. Of yes, Frank I with know. the wine. I know. Brittany, how's it going, bro? <laughs> hey, can I get my phone back now? Now hold on just a minute, Patrick. You specifically told me not to give you this phone back unless you were sober. <laughs> you don't look very sober to me. Or non mentally challenged. Totally sober. Yeah, but my main man, bro, needs it. I think he needs to call his mom. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't have my I'm own sorry, cell phone. I'm responsible for this phone. You trusted me with it, and I won't give it back to you unless you're sober, just like you asked. So now I gotta give him the coffee? Jeepers. Uh, wait, hang on. Um,. Uh, hey, bro. Sorry, to I tried to get my phone back from Brittany, but she won't give it to me unless I'm sober. You'll have to wait. Talk to him about his bottle of wine. Okay. Hey, it's my main man, bro. How's uh, it going, man? Watch out for Frank. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> man, I think it's. You just want to get him beaten up by Frank, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the. You should watch out for Frank. Frank, Frank. Yeah. Easy, bro. Every time okay. I okay, so now I go down to Frank. Yeah, and, and fucking tattle like a fucking like a narc. little bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. I like seeing dudes get beat up. Yeah, it's fun. Just guys being dudes. Hey, nice toaster, Frank. Hey, dude. How's it How's going, it going dude? <laughs> Staying away from the alcohol. Uh, Frank, I I just got a bottle of wine. I'm gonna fuck his shit up. I'm gonna fuck his shit up and hug myself because I have self. I practice self love. I've got a lot of issues, bro. Got a lot of issues. Are dude. you are you going to him, or? dude? A lot of issues. Oh, I, think, I bet he's already up there. Is it really? It's like yeah. he teleported. Yeah. Well. Yep. I hear the scuffle. No, it's upstairs. Oh, yeah, he's right there. there we go. How did Patrick get Oh in? no. Well, there's the wine. Don't, don't, don't grab it just How's yet. How's it going, How dudes? How's it going, dudes? <laughs> How's it going? Chew on nothing for a minute. She's like, it's going great, dude. Good, dudes. Good, dudes. Anyway, I'm gonna get leave you dudes to it. Have a good dude. Dude, okay. dude, 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 dude. So pick it up now? Uh, as long as he's gone. He is gone. Okay. Okay. Now uh, it is time to go uh, give all of your natty lights to Frank and talk to him about sniffing the thermos. Mm -hmm. Just give them to him? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. <coughs> How's it going, dude? It's just staying away from the alcohol? Let's just save it uh, first. Yeah. Good Because he is a touchy MF. How's it going, dude? Dude, how's it going? Dude, 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 dude. Oh, dude. 
Where'd you find that? Give him a part, Frank. Yeah, oh, he likes you now. Shit, another one? You, sir. A great asset right. for my cause. Here, let me see what he's saying, because it's insane. Oh, dude. Where'd you find that? Thanks for bringing this to my attention. <laughs> Your efforts won't go unnoticed. Okay. Yeah. Here's Shit, some more. Dude, Just only one? the natty lights. Shit, another one? You, yeah, sir, all the natty lights. are a great asset to my cause, and your loyalty to me is noted. Wow, I didn't know. All right, psycho. It was so clean cut. Whoa, dude. Where'd, where'd you find you, that? Where'd you find that? Whoa, dude. And in the flask? Uh, no. You should be able to talk to him now about sniffing the thermos. Yeah, just from the natty lights? I think so. All right, I'm missing one then. You sure? Yeah, I only gave him five. Try, I mean, try talking to him one more time. It said everything. five of six. Oh, dude. And I don't have any more natty lights. Oh, dude. So I don't know where the last oh, one is. Geez, is that dude. one in there? Is that what that is? I don't know. I'd be scared to grab anything out of this cabinet. Because he's, he's right there. that dude's right there. Yeah, dude. Dude's right there, dude. Dude, he's right dude in okay, there. Okay, hold on. Dude. Let's go through this list again. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, dude. Dude. I got that one, dude. Dude, 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 dude. I got that one, dude. Dude. Okay. Dude. Hey, dude. How did that, how did that beat up, In dude, the same dude. room with Frank, there's one natty light behind a single chair beside the window. Got that one. Okay. Uh, go to the room with Stephanie in. On the shelves on top of the fireplace, there are speakers on either side. Open the hand with control and grab the speaker on the right side. Pull it down. A natty light will be hidden behind it. Got that it. one. Uh, look up. Okay. No. I, I got that one. It was over yeah, here. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Um, Dude. go to the garage. Natty light will be on a shelf. Got that one. Go upstairs. Okay. Master bedroom, high shelf with the bathroom door. Natty light sitting on it. Got, got that, that one. one. Go to the master bedroom bathroom. Painkillers. Hmm. Go to the laundry room. Hmm, hello. Hmm. Oh, hello. You will go to the laundry room. Oh, laundry room. You will see a basket beside the sink. Just you and me. Sink? Can you sink? see? This is the there's a sink in here. There's a basket. Put it down with a hand option. Whoa. Well, that's a natty work. light. Uh, try the garage. Maybe that's the laundry room now. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dode. I think this is from an earlier version of the game. Sorry, maybe you see the thing I'm like Dode. looking forward to. Dode. Bro. Not yet, I don't think so. Dude. I haven't looked recently. Sink. Laundry mm. basket. To the left. I mean, Ready Player One. Left. Left. To like you already watched the laundry it? basket. Maybe no. that. Oh boy. Ain't no laundry basket. Oh, oh boy. 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 I gotta go. Alright, fam. See ya.